hello guys we're back with another pixar tutorial i'm going to try to do these as much as possible when i find things that are interesting and easy to do some quick little tips and whatnot today we are doing as you can see behind me a storage tutorial um how to make storage rooms and whatnot little tricks uh that i've came across and some things you may or may not know so let's go ahead and get started with this, shall we? As you can tell, we already have some already done up. Did you know you could stack uh, the storage box, the chest? Yes, there's a little trick. You can't technically do this, but there's little tricks behind it. And I'll sh show you how to do this. Um, and there's these uh, Western storage boxes. I like these so much better because they're more square um, there are some different ones, but they're, they're pretty difficult to get. They're a little bit harder to uh, obtain and whatnot, but, um, this is a blueprint and basically the other one that you can unlock just by your regular engrams and whatnot would go to here. You go scroll all the way over here and it's level 38 and some people don't want to wait that long and the best thing to do with that is you find these little things like uh, those little drops that I don't have any around me at the time. They're those little beams of light and they drop down from the sky and once they hit the ground you can go over and loot them if you're a certain level and whatnot. But um, there's a good chance you'll get the blueprint, unlock the blueprint and then you can make it and I'll show you exactly how you make that uh, western... Uh, storage box we'll go in here to my little previous little thing here we got here and we open this up and as you can tell this is how it's made uh, basically we'll go in here go to storage and there's our Western storage box and you need yellow dye you need thatch and wood to make dye, that's a whole new system. You have to do, get your dyeing thing, and you need berries and all that good stuff to make dye. It's not that hard, but once you have that made and whatnot, then you can come over here and you can make your little storage boxes. Normally, these things will go up against the wall like this, and it takes up two blocks, uh, two by three blocks, and I don't know. I I thought well. If I'm in a basement, I can dig this out a little bit more and sink them into the ground so they'll look like flush with the wall that you're, where your uh, basement is. So I came across this and decided to do this. Um, we'll go ahead in here. I'll show you how to do this. There's a couple ways you can. This is probably the easiest way. Get your wall, whatever you're going to use for your wall. And right now I'm using quartz or marble. I'm not sure. But we'll start with this right here. And I, I'm going to go ahead and do this double. And I'll show you why I'm going to do this. Put that up there. Come on. There we go. And you're going to fill this whole thing up. There we go. Boy, it's a, a nice windy day today, isn't it? Okay, now you're going to put your holes in here, and you're going to hold Shift, F, until you get your spot where you want this at. Go ahead and take these out. There's different designs you can do with these, too, if you would like. But right now, we're just going to do this. Go to 6, and then we're going to have to hit the E. And t sometimes it's a bit tricky to get these things to line up. Once you do, just pop them in place just like so boom there you have it and this being your wall you have all that space you have all 50 slots that you can put stuff in a lot a lot more space a little bit more uh, stylish and whatnot and you can put your signs up above there or you can um, if you want to make it a little bit more stylish you can countersink these in a little bit like this something like that but then you have this view right here. There's all kinds of stuff you, you can do. I, I know there's things that... You, excuse me. You need to disappear. Goodbye. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and get started with the regular storage chest. These storage chests, you will get those um, at uh, level 2. And you can see right there I got them. Yes, I know. I'm in creative. It's a lot easier this way. And the best way I've found to do these is you can use sand or dirt. I always use sand because it's, I don't know, it's easier. There we go. You leave the top one undone like that. And you go ahead and get your chest. Put your chest up there. We're going to hit E to rotate it that way. And we're going to have to jump up because it, evidently we can't see above our head. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and switch to our pickaxe. Destroy it. Okay. That. You got to watch you don't break your chest though. See right there? I'm using the super pickaxe, so we have to be careful. Let's go ahead and place those blocks, those chests back up there or storage boxes. Okay. One good way is since this is sand, we'll drop it down like that. That that way we don't break the block above us. 3 Go ahead and place these again. Go up here and bust the bottom one. Again, so you don't break the block above you like I did to begin with. Oh, let's do three. And again, very careful not to break your chest. And then we're going to place the last row right here. And that's all you have to do. And you can do multiple um, levels of these too. You can make them come out this way and then have a walkway this way. It's it's endless what you can do with this stuff. But guys, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Very, very simple. Very, very easy to do. Just place blocks, remove them. Place blocks, remove them. Try not to break them. But I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and we will have more to come. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.